Boy, we're in for a treat tonight. We got uh, hamburgers prepared by master outdoor chef, Michael. Well, five o'clock rolls around early in the morning, so I just want to make sure I got everything in the in my vest tonight. Um, see what we got. I got my uh, head net, camel gloves. I've got uh, my lynch call. I've got the new call that Michael and I made. Got my little push button friction call here. I'm gonna. Uh, chalk up uh, a box call here put a little chalk on the lid gives it a little better sound now this call that we made uh, it's got kind of a unique raspy sound I think it uh, could produce some results. Uh, um, it's got a lot different sound than that Lynch. So I gotta get a little more used to the call, but uh, we're gonna try that tomorrow. And uh, I've got my owl call uh, to locate, hopefully locate some birds early in the morning. I got a uh, this is a pelleted woodpecker call. Use it later in the morning, uh, sometimes to locate uh, locate uh, turkeys. They'll gobble back to it sometimes. There's a crow call. Uh, sometimes you can get them to gobble back to the crow call also. And what else we got in here? <clears throat> I got a slate call. This is a uh, lynch. Uh, Slate call. And of course I got shells for tomorrow. <clears throat> and a pen to fill out our tag when uh, Michael and I uh, uh, get a gobbler tomorrow morning. And what else we got in here? Oh. I got a, uh, I made this up. It's a little, uh, little strap and handle. A handle's made out of a deer antler. And that's to uh, uh, carry the turkey out with, hopefully. So I think we're all set. We got our licenses. Uh, we've got all our, our clothes laid out. So I think we're in good shape for uh, tomorrow morning, hopefully. We didn't forget anything. We have an absolutely perfect morning weather-wise. Still, there's not even a breeze, a light uh, fog, and uh, hopefully we can get into some birds today. Are you ready to get some birds? All right, let's go. We set up on uh, Woodpecker Ridge this morning. That's where we had hunted uh, the first uh, morning of the youth season. And uh, it's perfect, absolutely perfect weather. 
Uh, we gave it a good shot up there, but we did not hear any birds anywhere. And you can hear a long ways this morning, but uh, nothing gobbling at all. So we're going to go to another spot and see if we can uh, find some birds over there. Pretty far back up in the state land, probably a, a mile and a half, two miles from the nearest road. Uh, we worked our way in this morning and uh, calling, walking, calling, walking, and we have heard nothing. No gobbles, no nothing. Uh, we set up down in here. It's a real good spot. Uh, done well in the past here, and I thought I heard a hen down below Michael and I but uh, I don't know it, it was only one time and it was pretty far away but other than that we have had no action it's turning out to be a really tough year but we're not giving up yet we're gonna keep at it uh, we're just about done for the day today by the time we get out to the truck and everything it's gonna be close to noon so uh, anyhow we're gonna keep at it and hopefully we'll get a, into, into a bird here soon Okay, it's uh, afternoon, so we can't hunt turkeys anymore. So uh, Michael and I decided to get a few chores done around uh, camp. And one thing that we do every spring is we do a road cleanup. There's a section of road that we uh, kind of have adopted, and we we clean up all the trash on that road. So uh, we're going to go do that now. I got this little picker uppers, and we both got gloves and. Michael got a bucket and I got a bucket, so we're going to go pick up some trash uh, and clean up the road. This is what we got from the roadside. Uh, not as bad as in years past, but still uh, too much as far as I'm concerned. We filled two five-gallon pails and carried back some other stuff. Uh, just assorted junk. Uh, a lot of, lot of beer cans and fast food wrappers. Uh, and... Uh, and some construction debris. So, uh, road's all cleaned up. I feel good about it. Thank you, Michael, for helping me. Master Outdoor Chef Michael is cooking up some hot dogs for us tonight. Good morning. This is the uh, second morning of the hunt, and uh, it's another real calm morning. So, uh, 
I'm hoping for a better morning than yesterday and maybe we'll get into some turkeys this morning. That was a good morning. We uh, started out, uh, we were going to hunt Woodpecker Ridge there, like we call it, and uh, we let out an owl call and we had uh, several owls answering us all around. It was pretty cool. Uh, um, they, were, they were hooting back and we were hooting back to them, but we didn't hear any turkeys, uh, so I was a little discouraged. So uh, we got up to the top of Woodpecker Ridge there and um, Started out with some soft calls, nothing, nothing. Uh, songbirds were pretty active, but uh, we didn't hear any gobblers. And then uh, right around 6.30, we heard a gobble fairly close, and then all heck broke loose. We had three different gobblers uh, answering our calls. They were hammering back, uh, gobbling back when every time we called, and uh, it was really exciting. Uh, they were below us, not too far below us, and eventually we called uh, uh, two of them up within about 45 yards of us. Uh, uh, they were just a little too too far for what I consider a a clean ethical shot. Uh, uh, you know, we were hoping that we could get them in just a little bit closer. But uh, they wouldn't. They were just they were just hung up at about 45 yards. So um, they they then drifted back down the hill, and they um, were answering our calls. They were hammering back, uh, gobbling back, and then we had another gobbler, which would have been gobbler number four, uh, uh, up above us gobbling, uh, uh, but he never came in. So uh, it was an exciting, exciting morning. Uh, we didn't pull a trigger, but I, I still think it was a, a great, great morning. We had a great time the last three days. Uh, two days of hunting and three days down here at camp. So uh, Michael and I uh, really enjoyed ourselves. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching and take care.